10 high quality real estate investment trusts that could all be offering a buying opportunity as of right now. Starting off with number one, EPR properties or ticker symbol EPR. Now EPR is in the other specialized REIT space and where it's trading as of currently, it is offering a starting yield of 8.23%. Now EPR properties does offer a borderline safe dividend as far as simply safe dividends go, which I think is pretty spot on. And because of the fact that just as of a few years ago, during the craziness in 2020, EPR properties did cut their dividend, but since then raised their dividend substantially, make, making their dividends that were previously paid before the cuts pretty close to where we're seeing right now. So for EPR properties, we're looking at a 3.6% dividend growth rate over the last year and negative 5% over the last five. And this was of course, because of that massive dividend cut. But if you're willing to take upon some risk and ride along with a REIT that could be witnessing a massive recovery, EPR properties is definitely one to look into. The next REIT that could potentially be offering a buying opportunity is another holding that I used to hold in my portfolio. We're talking about Apple Hospitality or ticker symbol APLE. Now Apple is in the hotel and resort REIT space. So if this is something you're looking for more exposure to, definitely check it out. Apple Hospitality is offering almost a 6.5% starting yield. Dividend safety is the same as EPR. Apple Hospitality has also had some issues. We saw a massive dividend cut. This was back in 2021. But since then, dividends have not been paid for two years straight with massive increases almost to the point to where we saw Apple pay out dividends a few years back. Now, just like EPR, this does have headwinds in front of it. But again, if you are looking for exposure into an area that could be undervalued, and maybe you can look back and think to yourself, you got this for very cheap. Check out Apple Hospitality. Another really popular real estate investment trust I'm sure a lot of you guys might already be holding that is potentially offering a buying opportunity is RioCan or ticker symbol R-I-O-C-F. Now RioCan's dividend safety score is 60, so it's safer than the last few that we looked at, at least according to Simply Safe. 6.19% for dividend yield, which is pretty high, at least historically. Unfortunately, as far as dividends go, there was also a dividend cut. I think this was back in 2021 for RioCan. So honestly, the dividend growth stats do not look all that pretty because of that cut. But since then, RioCan has been raising their dividends slowly and steadily. So if you want some exposure to Canada's largest real estate investment trust, definitely check out RioCan. As far as quality goes, it's definitely up there. The next REIT that could be offering a buying opportunity is one of my biggest holdings as far as REITs go, and we're talking about WP Carry. Now, WP Carry was a massive position of mine a while back, but ever since the spinoff that happened, it sort of changed my mind about WP Carry, and I slimmed down my size a little bit. But WP Carry still could be offering somewhat of a buying opportunity. We're talking almost a 6% forward yield, with a 70 on the safety score as far as dividend goes. And WP Carry's dividend or dividend growth is a little bit confusing because the dividend did go down, of course, because of that spinoff. Although technically speaking, WP Carry hasn't really cut their dividend. They've been paying dividends and more and more over time for a while now. If you want some exposure to some high quality real estate, WP Carry is definitely getting in the realm of some of the highest quality across the market, if you ask me. Another one of my favorites, a large holding in my portfolio that could be offering a buying opportunity as of right now is Vici Properties or, or ticker symbol VICI. Now, Vici, where it's trading as of currently, is offering a forward yield of 5.63%, which is on the higher end of what investors have seen over the last five or so years. Now, one of my favorite parts about Vici and the reason that it's in my portfolio is that I do think this REIT, that this stock does have some potential to grow as far as price return goes substantially over the next few years. And along with that, I think we are going to see larger and larger dividends as time goes on as well. Over the last few years, Vici has actually raised their dividend three cents or so per year, which is a decent sized raise, especially for a REIT. And even though I'm sure a lot of you already have Vici properties in your portfolios, it is somewhat on sale as of right now. So check it out, add it to your watch list if it isn't already. The next super high quality REIT and my largest REIT across my entire portfolio that could be on sale as of right now is Realty Income or ticker symbol O. Now there's not much to say about Realty Income. I think at this point we already all know that as far as real estate investment trusts go, Realty Income is sort of at the top of the game. Now Realty Income offers a 5.61% forward yield. The dividend is just about as safe as it comes, at least if you ask me. The beta is relatively low and the dividend growth rate, although sort of slow, being that the dividend growth rate is around 3% more or less, so it is on the slower end. Although, of course, Realty Income has not only paid dividends for decades and decades, but also been raising their dividends consistently for more years than I've been alive. Realty Income is a great REIT to have exposure to if you do want something high quality, and especially if you don't want to have to worry about a REIT all that much. Another REIT that could be offering a buying opportunity somewhat as of right now is another one of my holdings. We're talking about Simon Property Group or ticker symbol SPG. Now Simon Property Group, the retail REIT, the mall REIT has been sort of a polarizing stock. And that's probably because of the craziness that we've seen out of SPG over the last maybe five or so years. 
Now, what I mean by that is SPG was paying a massive dividend. We're talking back in like 2019. And then in 2020, there was a huge dividend cut. And, but then since then, we're back on the up and up. And SPG has been raising their dividend extremely, extremely fast. Now, SPG, where it's trading as of currently, in my opinion, is not necessarily offering a massive, massive buying opportunity. But I did personally buy some SPG around $90 or $100 per share a while back. But it's definitely one worth having on your watch list. It's very high quality, relatively speaking, at least if you ask me. Another one of my favorites that could be offering a buying opportunity as of right now is Triple N REIT. Now, Triple N REIT is currently offering a 5.35% forward yield. As a super safe dividend, once again, as far as real estate investment trusts go, this is one of the highest quality REITs they own and lease to some of the most familiar names across the market. But as far as dividend growth goes, we're looking at very much so the same thing as realty income. The only difference is Triple N does not pay a dividend monthly. They pay a quarterly, which doesn't make too much of a difference. But still, 36 years without a reduction and 34 years of consecutive increases. If you're looking for a premium REIT to add to your watch list, definitely add Triple N REIT. You are definitely not going to want to miss out on this one. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today it's the first link in my description and speaking of high quality this might be one of the highest quality reads in this entire video so far we're talking about agree realty or ticker symbol adc now like i said about triple n and of course realty income as well as many of the reads that we talked about in this video there's lots of familiar companies big 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 a plus companies that are leased out to some of these reads and Agree Realty is no different. There's very familiar names in the portfolio. But Agree Realty, as of right now, is offering almost a 5% forward yield, which might not seem like all that high, but trust me, historically, this is one of the highest starting yields you're going to be able to get into when it, when it comes to this sort of REIT. The dividend safety score is 70, the beta is very low, and as far as dividend growth goes, it's sort of all over the place. The last five years, 6%, but the last year, 1.2%, and last 20 years, pretty slow at 2%. So Agree Realty, in my opinion, is more of a growth name. I bought some shares of this one, hoping that my actual price return would probably outpace and outweigh how much I'm going to earn from dividends. But although we're trading as of currently, there could be a lot of cash flow to be earned if you lock it in at a certain price. All in all, if you don't have ADC on your watch list, make sure to add it to your watch list ASAP and look a little bit deeper into this one. You're going to absolutely love what you see. The last and final real estate investment trust that's offering a massive buying opportunity, not as much as it was even a few months back when I was talking about it, but we're talking about extra space storage or EXR. Now this of course is a self storage REIT and extra space storage is very familiar. Now because EXR has actually been recovering pretty nicely, the dividend yield has dropped down significantly, although over the last five years you're still getting in a nice starting yield. Now the beta on this one is of course a little bit higher, so it's going to trade somewhat similar to that of ADC or maybe even AMT if you're familiar. But as far as dividend growth goes, we're talking 8% over the last year, 14% over the last five years, and over the last 10 years, 16% per year. This was one of the main selling points and why I grabbed some shares of EXR a while back. I sort of wish I would have grabbed more shares when it was cheaper, honestly, now. But it's because this REIT, in my opinion, is going to keep growing over time as far as price goes. But on top of that, I do not mind getting paid more and more in dividends over time to wait. Like, for example, I think I bought my first few shares of EXR back sometime in 2021. And since then, I'm getting paid upwards of like 40 cents more per share that I own on a quarterly basis. Not to mention there's probably going to be another dividend increase. For those real estate investment trust investors out there looking for some high quality REITs, definitely add EXR to your watch list. It could be a good opportunity if it sells off a little bit from here. So there we have it guys. Those are 10 different real estate investment trusts that could all be offering a substantial buying opportunity as of right now where they're trading. Now over the next few years, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with REITs if and when of course the Federal Reserve chooses to cut interest rates or on the other hand, maybe doesn't. But either way, now lastly, I wanna hear from you guys down below. Out of every single real estate investment trust that we talked about in this video, which is your number one favorite out of all of them, drop the ticker symbol in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.